The human genome is a sequence of three billion chemical letters divided up among 23 chromosomes. Determining that sequence, assembling the genome, is a complicated task that usually involves combining many different technologies. The original human genome assembly, generated by the International Human Genome Project, took over 10 years to create and cost over $4 billion. Our method is very different. Several years ago, we've uh, developed a method to determine how a two-meter-long human genome folds to fit inside the cell of a nucleus. In our new paper, we show that these folding maps also allow us to assemble genomes by asking ourselves the following question. If the DNA is folded as described by a map, what must the true genome sequence be? Uh, this method of a genome assembly turns out to be accurate, fast, and cheap. Producing a human genome from scratch, just like the International Human Genome Project did, requires less than a week of experiments whose results can be interpreted at the click of a button. It also costs less than $10,000. That's a lot smaller than $4 billion. When I was a kid in school, my father and I created a science fair project, which was a scale model of DNA. We made it using metal wires and styrofoam balls. Today, for roughly the same cost and in roughly the same amount of time, a high school student could assemble a reference quality version of the butterfly genome using the technologies that we describe in our paper. This also means that sequencing a genome of a patient from scratch is finally so cheap that it's comparable in cost to an MRI. Uh, if your doctor needs to know your genome, this technology can finally make it possible. We had been discussing these ideas for years, writing a snippet of code here, doing a proof of principle assembly there. All of a sudden, our project became much more urgent with the outbreak of the Zika virus. Zika is carried by the Aedes aegypti mosquito, whose genome has not been well characterized. Leslie Vosshall, a professor at Rockefeller University, issued a call to arms to the biology community. We needed to improve the Aedes genome. As it happens, we'd already done a proof of principle experiment showing we could assemble Aedes aegypti. So as soon as we heard Leslie's call to arms, we knew that we needed to do everything in our power to share the genome and our methods as soon as possible. Our paper reveals for the first time a draft of the end-to-end -end sequence of the Aedes aegypti genome. We also assembled Culex quinquefasciatus, the principal vector for West Nile virus. In the future, these methods will allow the biology community to respond to an outbreak by assembling the relevant genomes in days instead of months.